In this quick video, we have some shots we'd like to share with you of a couple of these cameras being installed so that you can see and have a pretty good idea of what it would take to, to install this at your facility. So stick around as we take a look at the Avigilon H4A multi-sensor camera. Hi there, Danny Myers here with Lighthouse Video Surveillance. The purpose of this channel is to provide you up-to-date knowledge of what technologies are available and working in the security industry. We're providing an insight into the world of video surveillance and access control from the point of first-hand working knowledge. And that's our passion here to help businesses to thrive in this marketplace. And we do that by introducing you to technologies that can help save your business time and money. So let's hop in and take a look at this installation process. So this first site that we're taking a look at, this is a six or seven story office building. And believe it or not, this camera is mounted up on the top corner and it's gonna be looking down towards this parking lot area. Uh, this is in the Houston Galleria area. Same camera, just from a different angle. You notice this is on a parapet mount because it's on top of this office building so that it can see out and this camera can be serviced. You can pull it in and you can access this to service it. Now if you notice what he's doing here, first he's clipping on, there's a cable there to attach to the camera to keep you from dropping it. Uh, once he has that, now he's looking towards getting the RJ45 connector attached. That's done with a weatherproof seal and the purpose of that is just to make sure to keep any moisture out of the internal workings of the camera itself. So now that he has that connected, he's going to attach the camera into the dome, the base itself. This is the pendant base, and that's done, done so very easily with just a few screws there. And then the next part is going to be actually aiming the camera. Now this camera has a micro USB port, and what we do is we actually plug in a dongle to that USB port that allows us to be able to see the cameras on a mobile device. In this case, it's a cell phone. And we can adjust the camera and then, and then show the customer right away what that view would look like, just to ensure that we have the right view that they're looking for, because the cameras obviously can be adjusted, each one independently. You can look you know, left, right, up, down, so we get the correct position for the specific needs of the client. Now what we're looking at here, uh, after the dome has been put on and tightened up well, taking the plastic off. We, we usually keep that plastic on there till the very end just so that we can kind of keep that dome clean and free from scratches in the installation process. This other just real quick video is a little bit closer up in showing um, the what the camera looks like from the inside and using that dongle. So it's plugged in there, it's basically hanging down, but that allows the technician to then adjust each one of those cameras. They, he can take a look at each one of those cameras change camera settings, um, even down to the detail of images per second and the compression and things of that nature. So all that can be set up from the mobile device using that, that tool. That's it for this short video. Thank you for joining us. Trust Lighthouse to provide you with the video surveillance that you need because it has to be right the first time. Now, if you have not uh, seen the other video where we actually do the unboxing of this camera, then uh, we have a link here for you. Take a look at that. Uh, it goes into much more detail on the mounting types um, and uh, you'll see the camera up close and personal. And then the other video that you see there listed is going to be the video that shows actual recordings from this camera in another application. Have a blessed day.